welcome back to my channel today we are going to make a video on the power bi topic actually we are getting a lot of comment uh, regarding the power bi uh, so our topic is create a line and cluster chart and compare this year versus last year sir, along with the growth percentage okay as you can see in the screen your result will be look like this so without any further delay let's get it started So before we start uh, the video and uh, making the visualization, so uh, I would like to say something. See, I'm not that good in Power BI as compared to Tableau, uh, but uh, yeah, I have little bit knowledge of Power BI also. So let's make our uh, chart. So, so first, we, what we will do, we will go to the. See, I'm using here the sample spot store data. This is public data; anyone can use it. So I will you from here you can select your chart. So uh what you need uh line and cluster chart right line is what oh, sorry the line and cluster column chart so we will select our chart from there you will just drag it and make it the size bigger and yeah and what we will do i will select from your order date i will select the year because they needed a year wise right i will select the year then we will select the cells we are using same cells here and yeah what we need we need here the last year cells and growth uh percentage right for that we have to write a LOD uh, sorry in the power bi it's called measure so there is a two way to write a measure in the power bi from new measure and another way is quick measure quick measure is like you know ai version version from there you will get your LOD automatically but uh, i will use here the new measure okay so first we will create a last year cell so to create a last year cell i will click on the new measure we will write the L LOD, sorry the major here so major name you can give as per your choice i'm giving here the last year cells and we will write a major we will calculate we are going to use here the calculate what we need sum oh sorry sum right sum then from which uh see in the power bi you have to select the database here unlike in the tableau it's a different thing but here uh, which database we are gonna use sample superstore so from the superstore what we need we need a cells right so if you will write here the cells it will come like that so superstore cells and what else i will close this and in the comma we will write one more lod it's uh sorry a major we will give same period of year because we are gonna uh because we are gonna create the last year cells from the current year cells right we have cells for column already so we are gonna get so from here also what we will need i will select the order date so order date of superstore and dot it's it's not necessary but in a uh, you can say optional you can write like that you will get the exact okay double bracket and we will just click okay so you can click somewhere like that committed and it will be visible in your screen somewhere here like wait let me check sorry okay so this is our last year set i will just check this it will come here okay so now you see, you can see our sum of cells and last year cells is here and uh, now we have to calculate one more uh, measure right so to calculate one more, more one more measure there is a two way I, as i uh, shown up in the earlier as i mentioned earlier so actually i have uh, created the growth percentage it's a long so in major uh, i will just uh, copy paste that because it's a long lod so i don't want to spend a lot of time to writing the lod and you can use quick measure also and uh, i will just copy and paste it all right so here i just paste it you can pause your video here i will just make it a little bit bigger so it will be visible for everyone okay so you can pause your video over here and you can write a LOD same as it is okay or i will mention this uh, quick measure in the uh, description also so from that you can copy and paste it here all right and first before you create any LOD so what you will do in the format go to the format select from here the percentage because we need value as a percentage right otherwise it will not come in the percentage and decimal if you want you can remove it uh sorry reduce it and keep it as it is okay just click on okay now everything has been let me click on commit okay 
so as you can see here this is the growth percentage we have created i will just click on here and our growth percentage is here now let me check one more time your condition so create a line and cluster chart with the, okay so first we will go to the build visual from here you can select growth percentage put it in the line and access chart so as you can see here is your line and cluster chart has been created by the percentage in the 2011 you can see the okay one more thing i forgot to write, uh, tell you in the as you can see some of cells right but they mention you needed this year last year and growth percentage just change the name of this ea cells you don't have to write a new measure for that okay so it will be visible here so now you as you can see here your cluster column uh, sorry what you call for this line and cluster column chart is here so i hope uh, this answer will satisfy you so see uh, as i mentioned earlier i'm not that good in power bi i'm because uh, as compared to the tableau but both are a very good tool uh, you can use any one so power bi and tableau anything uh, as per your choice okay thank you so much i hope you like the video